Attention, all epic Young Noodle Arm YouTube viewers. Young Noodle Arm needs your help. Young Noodle Arm needs to reach 180 subscribers on YouTube so that he can catch a shiny Chansey in Pokemon Let's Go. So let's go and like this vid, leave a comment, and enjoy Young Noodle Arm's content. Don't forget to sub, we need 100. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, honestly. I'm sorry. I apologize. The video is going to get better. Um, I don't know. I just thought I'd play around a bit, you know, make a little bit of comedy video for you guys. I'm going to get better. The video is great. Just don't leave. Please. Please. Hey, what's up all you crusty 420 memers? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Most of you would know who this guy Bruh. is. And if you don't know who that is, you need to relax, okay? I'm going to tell you who it is. Just bring it down a couple of notches, okay? This is a safe Space. I don't need any of that negativity around here. This guy's name is Voiceover Pete. Now, Voiceover Pete is uh, is an actor. He's a presenter. Basically, what he does, he does custom videos for people. You give him money, and uh, he'll say whatever you want. I mean, anything. He will literally, he will, he will divorce your wife for you. A lot of people discovered Voiceover Pete on Fiverr. Now, Fiverr, if you're not too sure, it is a freelance creative services website where you advertise a service, people give you money, you do the service, that's it. That's business, baby, that's how it works. Now, like most things online, one person picked it up, they ran with it, and it just completely exploded. So then people started to get our friend voiceover Pete to start talking about PewDiePie, Fortnite, memes, epic, being epic, epic games, just everything epic. The internet absolutely loves epic things, and they ate this up. And in turn, voiceover Pete made a hell of a lot of money. Because let's be fair, his business before, whilst it was, it was okay, he was relatively unknown, so he wasn't getting the influx of business that he was once he became a meme. What the fuck? Who turned the Xbox on? Are you serious? What the fuck? Piss off. Then turn you on. Oh my god, my house is... Friggin haunted. So everybody was having a great old laugh with voiceover Pete, making him say funny things. <laughs> <laughs> well, voiceover Pete eventually got into a lot of trouble. Because in a lot of videos, uh, people wanted him to ask people for their credit card details. And Fiverr clapped back at that and they said, no, 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 not today, hunty. I know for some reason Fiverr is now a drag queen. They said that what he was doing in his videos was a massive breach of the terms of service. He was promoting a scam, which he wasn't. Um, but obviously Fiverr was like, oh, this is not good. This makes us look like we're promoting someone that promotes credit card scams. So we better get rid of him to save our skin. <laughs> you didn't save it as well as you think. Let me tell you that. And they shut that down completely. They removed Voice of a Pete from Fiverr. Gone. He's done. He had orders already lined up, ready to go. That's it. Couldn't even log into his account. He was finished. He was done. He was out in the street. So absolutely down in the dumps. Nowhere left to go except the house that he lived in with his wife and son. The same people that got Pete in trouble came to his rescue. And they came to his rescue in such a big way. Now I'm actually still in disbelief at how quickly this guy blew up. Once he got removed from Fiverr and he was featured in Pew News, his channel just blew up exponentially. Like in a week, his channel legitimately gained over 500,000 subscribers. 500K. That's how many subs this guy got in a week. In a week. I'm lucky to get two in a week. And one of those two would just unfollow me straight away. So like the fact that he, after a week, can blow up and become one of the biggest channels on YouTube at the present time, is just absolutely bonkers. And now thanks to his YouTube superstardom, he is now making more money than he ever did on Fiverr. So Fiverr, take a hike, buddy. Voice over Pete, still doing voiceover videos. He's doing YouTube, he's doing this, he's doing that. He's probably gonna have merch soon. He's probably gonna do a collab, a mukbang, ASMR, all that jazz. He is now the king of the internet. That might be a bit of a stretch, but he, you know what? He is the, he is everybody's grandfather on YouTube. He is the YouTube grandparent that everybody loves, everybody wants to just spend time with and enjoy before he dies. He is YouTube's grandpa. Now, like any meme, it's gonna get stale eventually. You know, we're all gonna get sick of it. We'll be like, ah, ha, 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 that was really funny. Um, okay, what's next? It's now December, we need a new meme. But for the time being, it's just wholesome entertainment. Let's enjoy it, let's go with it. Voice over Pete. I think it's almost impossible to hate him because he's just such a lovable, honest, warm character. And I love him. I love him. I love him so much. I'm gonna watch a couple of his videos right now. Right, attention all gamer guy meme comp compilation credit card guy. <laughs> Voice over Pete. All right. Attention.
I funnier. Israel is in trouble. Need your help to fight off the Palestinians. Oh my god. All it needs. <laughs> I is your oh my goodness. Credit card number, the expiration date, and the three digits on the back. What the oh, hell? They don't have long. Whoa. That's he actually made that video. I can't believe it. That's crazy. I had no idea voiceover Pete was such a cultural political icon. It's a new Martin Luther King. Hey, Garfield Cart Gamer. It's me, John Arbuckle. <laughs> I need your help to beat Nermal and win the Pizza Cup. Now, to help me out, all I need is your parents' credit card. What is this game? Three digits. I can on only imagine just how many people actually here. gave now, him please, the credit card details. Hurry. Like, it's really scary. It's really funny to talk about, but it's actually w scary that people game. will probably actually do this. <laughs> oh, no. Ew, you like anime too? But I thought like I was the only one. Hey. Hey. Do you want to do it? That's really creepy. What is he doing? Yeah, like, I mean, join See the what I mean? He doesn't, give a, he doesn't give a flip. He'll say whatever. He'll do whatever. He's all about that cash. He's all about the meme, man. Do it for the meme. I'm not asking you because I like you or anything. Hello? What are you doing, sir? I farted and I had an accident in my pants. And now Ben Shapiro wants to know my location. Well, to help Ben reach me, all he needs is your credit card, three digits on the back, and the expiration date. Now... This is epic. Hey, this Attention. is the one. This is the one. This All is the famous -year -old gamers. Cutie Pie versus T Series vid. Hey. Cutie Pie is in great danger. He needs your help. <laughs> Credit to Granddad. What a T -series vid. T Series from YouTube <laughs> once and for all. Do you remember that you saga? That was crazy. That was amazing. I think it's all moot now because I think T Series is ahead. He does. But Not it's a nice him, point in YouTube's Cutie history. Pie needs is for you to subscribe to his channel. Pretty easy. So be sure hmm. to hit that bell and turn notifications on. Spread, Spread the news it, man. with Spread all your friends that news. throughout the world. But you got to be quick so that PewDiePie can achieve the yes. Epic come on, dab, dab, Royale dab, epic win. Yes. Forever with zero, zero deaths. Mm. And also, I know nothing about zero sure deaths. Let me tell ya. To grand day. Oh. That's enough. That's it. That's it. I can't take any more. If you want to see any more of VoiceOver Pete's videos, all you have to do, go to youtube.com, search VoiceOver Pete, and you'll find a couple of videos. Okay? You enjoy those. As for me, I've had enough. I'm going to go. So the point of this video was to just show you that VoiceOver Pete, he's doing well. He's probably going to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year. So this video really, it really showed me that, you know what? Doesn't matter if you fail. Doesn't matter if you get fired. Doesn't matter if you're just a joke. A laughing stock, you can still make it. You can still become a meme. You can still become the king of the internet. You can still have a million subscribers by the end of the year. Fingers crossed. That's all I've got for you. If you did like the video, sorry. If you did like the video, make sure you sub to the channel. Slap a like on the vid. Leave a comment. You know the drill. I would really appreciate that. That would be like an early Christmas present for me. That's all the time I've got for today. And on behalf of all fellow Epic Gamers, thank you, VoiceOver Pete, for your service, good sir.